you, you see the idea of a human reward depends on human life. That is a very important component of our system. Grace comes to humans. To the, if we are 1% human, we are 1% receptors of grace. If we are 10% human, we are 10% receptors of grace. If we are zero human, if we are a toaster or machine, or if we are a, a microwave, a car, you know, like a, a, a pickaxe, a chainsaw, we are not receptors of grace. Those instruments are not receptors of grace. They have switches, they go on, they get off. They have no choice of being on or off. Other forces turn them on and turn them off. They can't make any decision. The bread makes no decision. The toaster makes no decision. You understand? They get switched on and switched off. If the bread doesn't feel like being toasted, it has no choice. If the toast has no feel like feeling like toasting the bread, it has no choice. It operates completely from circumstances that happen. You understand? That is the nature of human life as it's become. That is the nature. It isn't a harsh story, it's an accurate story. We perform certain actions. You see that there are disasters and people rise to the occasion. They become giving, they become helpful because the disaster switch is turned on. Without that, then the disaster switch is turned off and, uh, and, and that, those qualities are gone. They're not there. Or the mood is not there. Or the convenience is not there. It's all a matter of switches. It's all a matter of influence from nearest at hand. You know, because... <laughs> It is not dependent on something permanent or constant. It's, de it's dependent on performance. And part of that performance is convenience. But sometimes you will go tremendously out of your way if the reward to that performance is acceptance and acknowledgement of that performance. So just because a person does a lot of good things or a lot of things that could possibly affect other people and they are tireless, that only means they may be more needy to have more people acknowledge what they do. But it is not the relaxed giving of essence. It's, it's so important that a person goes through, slowly but surely, goes through all of their claims for themselves, not to be assailed or attacked, but goes through all their claims of, of uh, uh, redeeming. All our redeeming features, each one, slowly but surely, down through time, according to the capacity of our impartiality, so that we don't freak out and feel depressed, and, because none of it is anything to be depressed of. We're only checking clothing. And we feel, <laughs> we, we go through each one of our performances and see that there is no redeeming good in it. It's all self-serving. All self-serving. It doesn't matter how helpful we are. It's self-serving. 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 If we go through that slowly but surely, according to our perspective and humor and impartiality, and with the support of peers who are not pretending to be otherwise, otherwise people are going to say, God, that's, you used to be a nice person. You're not such a nice person anymore. Rather to see people who will say, God, it's really good to see you letting down some of that, that phony performance. You know, traveling companions become so important because how can you let down with everybody else who's performing? You can't. The peer pressure is too great. But slowly but surely, we have to erode that illusion. And as we erode that illusion, little cracks happen. And through that cracks, flashes and views of that simple essence come forth. And that bolsters up our energy to go forth and removes the depressed feeling and the self-dislike and the, all that stuff that came from our first few views of, of I'm not what I assume myself to be. I'm not what I imagined myself to be. Till we come to the recognition realization that I am 100%, totally, completely, insincere, full of shit, performance, self-serving, 
that's it, and with not a bad feeling about it. A feeling of, I would like to be otherwise, and I'm going to work to be otherwise. But no bad feeling about that, because I'm not the only one. You're not the only one. You're in a support system where everyone is acknowledging the humor of this situation, of a world where people are giving each other awards for their self-serving gestures. 